<clears throat> Cleaning drowners. Yeah. What, none of you has any loot? Give me... Okay, but we got some here. Get another saddle. Oh, look what this one has for uh, in store for us. Come on, Roach. I need... Roach. Come on. Where are you? I told you to go around. Okay. We're going up here. And there. After that, we're headed off to kill the Beast of White Orchard. Hopefully, we can potion up before that and uh, buy some valuables. Out of the way. We're also checking the notice board just in case something has come up. I don't think so because uh, it doesn't show a um, quest mark on the notice board. But I'm just, just checking out a little bit just to see that we got everything. I'm not that kind of completionist who would do anything just to have it done. But in a game such as this where... The stuff you do is so amazing. I, to be honest, I can't imagine uh, leaving something out. Well, it was a well, fast kill. Much. What the hell was that? Something just. Uh oh. I'm smelling something bad here. You know what I mean. What now, you piece of hell? And heads off. Another ghoul. Okay, let's go for it. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. And we liberated another area. Well, isn't that great? Guys can come back. Settle in the abandoned village. Get our um, looting going and then talk to the people here. No problem, man. My pleasure to kill monsters. My job to kill monsters. Greetings. Yeah, show me what you got. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. You got some chicken legs. I'm going to buy them. Uh, let's buy, um, say, six of them. No, it costs a lot, like, really much. Uh, water. Whoa! <laughs> Are you kidding me? So much for water. Okay, I'm gonna sell this one here. Uh, at least two of them. Gonna sell the Redanian Lager we have here. Uh, so one of those honey... No, we're not gonna sell those because they are important. We got butter. No, thank you. Not gonna sell this. The blackjack which we can sell. The gauntlets are actually way better than the gauntlets that I have as far as I can tell that. So gonna 
sell those hunting gauntlets here. We're gonna sell those swords and blackjacks and we get a saddle which is exactly the same as the one we had before. Maybe I have some junk which I can sell. Ashes, um, sure. Get fist tech, really? So cheap. Maybe we can sell it to someone else. The fishing rod and the fishing nets. We got some smoking pipes. We can sell most of them. Uh, old bear hide, one of them. Old cheap skin, three of them. Yeah, no, I'm just randomizing things here. Blunt axe. 30? Seriously? A uh, broken rake? Wow. A razor. Silver teapot? No, we can dismantle this. Uh, and we got a rope ladder. We might want to dismantle later on. We got a goat hides, which can sell some. And flowers, we don't need them. One wolf's hide. Oh, those. A rusty bread knife. Now yeah, I can sell this one. A pig hide. And horse hide, okay. Eight horse hides. Merchant doesn't have enough coin. Okay. What we can buy from him. Might change his mind. Is one pure silver. And we can give him... Yeah, eight horse hide for that. Farewell. Farewell. I call that good for business. We still have to change those gauntlets here. So, let's equip this. Not gonna sell it now. It's just a waste to go in there again and sell it and what the hell do I know. Now we are... Well, we're finished, right? As good as finished. We got almost everything done here. I don't think I'm gonna go for another one of those, and we can go to uh, Vesemir to uh, get the griffin going. So uh, uh, let's do this, but since we have one of those uh, fast traveling posts here, we can go there and, you know, Whoa there, Roach. My target is here. So, we're back. Back in town. Oh, isn't that the guy we saved from the Griffin earlier? Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. But I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes. But I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll, I'll let it go half free. Half free? Let wow. Look at your stock. Okay. Um, we have, actually. You have Fault Test, uh, a Gwent card. We also have Catapult, Blue Stripes Commando, and Sinford Raven's Dragon Hunter. Range Combat 5. Okay, we uh, got enough uh, repair kits actually. We're gonna buy one of those Dwarven Spirits here. Um. And one alcoholist. Sure, we can uh, use this. Then we can buy. Yeah, let's buy King Fall Test and this one and this one. Nice. And we can maybe sell him some junk like the vials here. 
not much, but uh, I don't have a lot of use for it anyway, so just trying to make up for some of the losses we uh, had. Tamarian Insignia, Goat Hide, as always, you know, five of those, one of those. It's getting together. You you can flatter, okay. Take care. Um yeah, we are not going to follow this one. We're going to follow uh, the Gwent first. I hope that we do actually have to talk to Vesemir because I want to go in there first. I heard there is the opportunity for Gwent game in there. Yeah, that's great. Uh, those guys look like they're playing cards. So let's do this first so we have everything done and can move on after that. What a waste of time! The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Actually, it does. Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a man. <laughs> Long hair, yeah. dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? Yeah, what do you mean? Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Okay, okay, we got a man of intellect here. Not saying intelligence. Um, yeah, why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Hmm. Yeah. Guess he can write about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Yeah, indeed. Um, did the war make it to Novigrad yet? Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars, especially. The sword is not the only. Just. Weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Sure, but in a fight, you're not really going down easy. I mean, yeah, your soldiers might be good, but the scholars? Well, they can only invent stuff, and stuff has to be invented and created before the war starts. Maybe some of you scholars are good strategists, I give you that, but fighting? No, no. Go. Not so in my opinion. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. Yep. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay, options marked with the card symbol will begin a game of Gwent. Alright, let's do this. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. 
Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in a battle. The player are generals and the cards are their forces. I like the music. Uh, starting hand. To begin you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards. So use them wisely. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is a unit card. The number of the... Uh, in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on a battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. The unit's combat uh, row icon. This icon indicates the row of the battlefield where the card can be played. Close combat, range combat, siege combat. Okay. Unit card special ability. Uh, some cards have special abilities. This Catvani Siege Expert special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Okay, then we have weather cards. Uh, weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce strength for all cards of a give, given type on the battlefield, including your own. Okay, at the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Okay. Here's the battlefield. This is your side, this is your opponent's side. Okay, during each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press enter to select a card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on a battlefield. My turn. So we get a few cards here. Say we start with, um, with a middle one. And we're going for the ranged combat row, in my opinion. Sabrina Glazewick. Okay. Total strength. The number of the, on the left by your icon shows the current total strength for your units. The number of the right uh, shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins, of course. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the unit you already have in play, or let your opponent win and save your cards for the next one. So if I pass, I can't play any more cards, even if my opponent plays one time and then second and third and okay. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Okay. What does my opponent do? So it seems we're on uh, similar ground. I'm going to play one of those cards here since he is just uh, going to play this one. I'm gonna lure him into playing another one on here. Yeah, that was what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to play uh, this one here. a special ability obviously my opponent plays another one of those which I am going to uh, counter with this one here hopefully he plays another one in this row yeah that's what I was waiting for uh, which card does the... Sets the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. Okay, let's do it. The opponent's turn. What does he do? He's going back there. He's got 10-10. Ten, ten. Uh, I have five cards, he has five cards, so it doesn't matter if I pass. What I'm going to do is play this one here. Which means that both of my cards uh, or this card should have one more strength my turn I'm pretty sure I can win this so let's pass the round the opponent's turn he's playing another one he has 16 and he is playing another one he has 18 oh, I lost the life jam 
Great! Your opponent won your opponent won the round. What am I supposed to do here? I gotta play cards or I gotta pass? It's just that. Uh okay. Guess we can cripple the What is our special ability though? Uh I wonder. Pick an impregnable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. I guess the fog is uh, for the archers, so there's that. Kira Metz. Wasn't that character from the games? Sounds great. Uh, let's play it. Ten. I'm not playing any more cards. Round starts, and I am able. Northern Realm Faction ability triggered. One additional card. Oh, that is a strong ability, I'd say. Uh, let's play this one first. You know, bluff a little bit. And play this one after that. The opponent passed. I'm passing as well, and I won the round. Great! Um, there's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later, yes. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards, immune to effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of a battle. Um, acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Great! Well, so we have. You have a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself it seems so. And wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Great. And we will probably go to Oxenford later on. If I am not mistaken, what the hell is that? Can we pick can we pick those up? Nope, we can't. Shame. But I think we won a card, so there's that. Yep, I do need some rations. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. Nice lady, I like her. Um, we got decoy. Um, swap with a card on the battlefield to return it to your hand. Interesting. And blue stripes commando. Okay. They don't. They don't uh, cost a lot, so going to buy them both. And what I'm also going to buy is wow. This chicken leg is way cheaper than the one we bought before. Um. Yeah, let's get this water. And what else can we buy? Some apples. Um, yeah, one of those, one of those, one of those, no, two of those potatoes, I guess that's enough for now, oh, just gotta check out if we have, farewell. All our potions ready? No, we haven't. So, uh, time to go and talk to Vesemir. But before that, we are going to meditate a little bit. Still don't know where the meditation uh, shortcut is. We're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And I think that's a good time to end it for the moment. Um, don't know... Wow, Geralt is growing a thick beard here. Maybe we have to shave sometime. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day and we end it here for the moment. When we're coming back, we are going to talk to Vesemir and hopefully going to uh, um, get this griffin going. This griffin fight and gonna slay the griffin, which means we get the information about Yennefer we so desperately need. I see you guys soon. Um, as always, if you like my videos, 
subscribe for more The Witcher 3 content and for um, first impression videos in the future when I get to it again don't know when I get to it and have a good day see you on my next video